Before we fully move on to the sorting skills, I want to emphasize that for sorting, you can also use money, candy, buttons, silverware with an adult, or socks as well with this. And skills. So as you can see, I've got bananas, grapes, apples, and oranges in a category. And I would have your child sort out each fruit where they belong. They can also do this by themselves, so if they didn't want to use the labels, they could go, okay, this is a grape, I'm gonna put this over here for grapes. This is an apple, I'm gonna put this over here for apples. It's whatever works for your child and whatever works for you. Um, so we are just going to sort them according to the labels. So we're going to look and we're going to pick up a piece of fruit and go, hmm, this is an apple. And we're going to find apple. A, apple, A. Ah. There we go. So we've sorted our first fruit. Let's pick up another one. This is in orange. Good job. So oranges are going to go over here on the end. So, so far we have sorted our apple and our orange. Let's pick up another piece of fruit. We've got a, or we've got grapes, right? So grapes are going to go under the grape category. Let me scoot these over a little bit. Let's pick up one more. What is this? If you said banana, that is correct. We are going to sort that with bananas. So here we go, sorting our banana with the bananas. So you continue to do that. So your child is going to continue to sort. I'm gonna pick up another one. You tell me where it belongs. Does this belong with the banana or the grapes? Grapes is correct. Does this belong with the apples or the oranges? Apples is correct. Notice I gave two choices that time. You can also give four choices. So here's another example if I grab this one. We've got a banana. Does this go in the banana category, the grape category, the apple category, or the orange? If you said banana, then you are correct. Okay, now I'm grabbing this one. What category does this go in? Bananas, grapes, apples, or oranges? Oranges is correct. This is a banana. Would that go with the bananas, grapes, apples, or oranges? If you said banana, that is correct. Does this go with bananas, apples, grapes, or oranges? Grapes is correct. Does this go with bananas, grapes, apples, or oranges? If you said grapes, that is correct. Good job. Would this go with bananas? grapes, apples, or oranges. If you said apples, that is correct. Does this go with bananas, grapes, apples, or oranges? If you said oranges, that is correct. 
put that with oranges. All right, let's sort out these last few. Does this go with bananas, grapes, apples, or oranges? Grapes is correct. Does this go with bananas, grapes, apples, or oranges? Apples is correct. Does this go with bananas, grapes, apples, or oranges? Bananas are correct. Does this go with bananas, grapes, apples, or oranges? Grapes is correct. Does this go with bananas, grapes, apples, or oranges? Grapes are correct. Good job, everybody. Everybody is an expert at sorting. Now that we are finished with the sorting, Part of our fruit we are going to move on into graphing so as you can see we have our fruit down here on the bottom we have our numbers to represent how many you have of each fruit and then we have our title because those are some important components that you have in a graph so we are going to take the fruit that we have sorted and we are going to graph it all right, so we're going to start with the bananas. So the bananas go into the banana category, and that's going to be right here. So we're going to put one right there, and then we're going to keep grabbing bananas until we have grabbed all of the fruit out of its sorting area. Okay, so there's our bananas. Now we're going to move on to the grapes. So we're going to grab our grapes, put them on our graph, like so. Okay. Now we are going to grab our apples. Put the apples in their spot. Like so. And now we're going to grab our oranges. Okay, and this is what our graph looks like. I'll give you time to answer. Okay, so this is our graph, and now we are going to evaluate the data we have from our graph, and Ms. Boutwell is going to ask us some important questions about our graph. Looking at our graph, which fruit is the most? Which one has the most in it? I'm gonna give you a little bit to answer. Okay, so as you can see, you can see that the grapes has the most, right? Because it's all the way to the top versus the rest of the fruit, which is down here. But you can also tell because the number is higher. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grapes. And seven is the highest number we have on our graph. And then the bananas only have one, two, three, four. And four is less than seven. And then the apples have one, two, three. And the oranges have one, two, three. And looking at our graph, which fruit has the same in it? We sometimes say the word equal. Also, which one is equal or the same? Okay, so let's evaluate and look. All right, so I'm gonna ask you this question too. Are the grapes the same as the bananas? No. 
Hmm. Are the oranges the same as the bananas? No. What about the apples and oranges? Are those the same? Yes, those are the same. So the apples have how many? One, two, three. And the oranges have one, two, three. Therefore, they have an equal amount of fruit. They are the same. So the apples and oranges would be the same. And another way you can use graphs is with colors. Colors are shapes, coins, and anything you might have around your house that you would like to graph. 